Welcome everyone. There are a lot of marks available to students who know the facts. In this walkthrough, we're going to take a look at an ionization energy question. It's only one mark and we are not required to give detailed explanations. However, this question is a great example of how much you might need to know to get just a single mark. On the plus side, if you put the time and effort into memorizing key facts, it will really pay off in exams. Here's the format for the walkthrough. It's an AQA A-level chemistry past paper question. Details are in the description. Let's get started. Here's the question. The diagram represents the modern periodic table. The table is divided into blocks. The outermost electron of all atoms of elements that belong in the S block exist in an S subshell. The outermost electron of all atoms of elements that belong in the P block exist in a P subshell, and so on. I have left out the elements hydrogen and helium. Although the outermost electrons of both hydrogen and helium are in an S subshell, these elements are not metals. The answer to this question must be one of the elements shown. Ionization energy always decreases down a group. We've now narrowed the answer down to a choice of lithium or beryllium. Ionization energy generally increases across a period. You don't have to explain either of these trends to answer the question. Based on our knowledge of metals and non-metals, the blocks of the periodic table, and the trends in ionization energy, the answer must be beryllium. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. Post in the comments if you have any questions or suggestions. Take care and good luck with your studies.